Hi there, my name is Florentin. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is an Ibanez Artwood series. I think this is the AC-30 NT acoustic guitar. Um, it has a grand auditorium body, which means the lower bow is gonna be wider. Almost like a jumbo body, but not as big. Uh, it has a beautiful Engelmann solid spruce top. Um, looks great, sounds great. Solid Engelmann spruce top. It has darker mahogany back and sides. At first I thought this was rosewood. I mean, it looks really beautiful, very dark, almost like a dark burgundy, but it is mahogany. Uh, it has a, a mahogany neck and the back of the neck is very smooth with a satin finish so that's great very uh it makes for easy sliding up and down you know the thumb behind your uh, the fingerboard there um it has a i believe this is a mahogany fingerboard and a mahogany bridge here the um the knot at the top here is your typical ibanez I don't know what they call that kind of knot there. As you can see, the inner end of the string, once it passes through the knot, it doesn't touch the inner edge there. So the string is suspended. Um, I've seen that on many Ibanez acoustics. Beautiful golden tuning keys with perloid buttons there. It comes with two uh, strap buttons installed. It has just a beautiful uh, binding throughout. It has a lighter color uh, mahogany binding in the middle there and also throughout the body, also on the edge of the fingerboard here. You do have fret markers there. It has a nice big sound. I mean, I'm not using any effects right now. I'm just going straight into a inexpensive uh, uh, clip on mic going into my iPhone actually and that's it. That's all I'm doing. It's nice big sound And I think the strings are a little bit old this is not a new instrument and I just love uh, Trying and reviewing older instruments because you know when you review a brand new instrument Everything is working well. Everything is supposed to work well, right? It's a brand new instrument. But uh, what really happens is if you let one or two years go by, you know, if you, if you allow the test of time to say its word, that's when you really find out how good an instrument it really is. So you look back here, there's no separation. There's no separation with any of the joints. Everything's holding really well together. It's playing really well. <laughs> But the strings are a bit old, and I'm assuming that if I put new strings on, you'd get a bigger, crisper, uh, more resonant sound. These feel like um, maybe the Dario uh, middle, uh, mid gauge, like medium gauge, I should say. It does have a dual action truss rod in there, which is great. This is, the neck is straight, which is awesome, but the strings are a little bit high for my taste, so I would lower them a little bit if I were to keep this. Um, yeah, I'll place a, a link of some um, instruments in the Artwood series at the bottom if you want to take a look. This one sells new for about $2.99 if I'm not mistaken, and you can find them used for about $200 or so, which is awesome for a solid top, Engelman Spruce solid top, uh, nice big sound, very comfortable to hold and play. Uh, I'm not using a strap right now. I'm just kind of hugging it <laughs> and it's, it's it's quite comfortable to play So yeah, this is my quick review today of the Artwood Ibanez the exact number inside the label is AC 30-NT-2Y-01 <clears throat> Like I said, I will play some links at the bottom with some um, models in the series, in the Artwood series. I played quite a few in the Artwood series and they're all uh, amazing instruments, nice, big, booming, woody, uh, natural acoustic sound.
So um, take a look at the links below if you want to. Here's a couple more measures of music, let's see. for watching my video if you're not subscribed to my channel I invite you to subscribe also give this video a like when you get a chance thank you very much for that have a wonderful day and see you next time mm -hmm.